Alright, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praise and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rechak Wadash, double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone, and salutation and much love to you, Akim out there pushing out this word in truth and sincerity. And I just want to do a quick video on the RFID chip, which is the Mark of the Beast. Okay, on, um, you know, because this is, uh, it's, it's getting closer and closer, man, whether you want to believe it or not. All right. As Romans chapter three and three says, so what if someone did not believe? Will it make? Well, let me just get it. You know, because hey, this 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 truth, all right. The prophecies of Yahweh Hashem outside don't need you to agree with it for it to come to pass. Okay, Romans three and three. For what if some did not believe? Shall their unbelief make the faith of the Most High without effect? God forbid. I mean, hell no, no. All right. Yea, let the Most High be true, but every man a liar, as it is written, that thou mightest be justified in thy sayings, and mightest overcome when thou art charged. Alright, so, scriptures say, let every man be a liar, and let the Most High be true. And what did the Most High say? He, he, he gave us an explanation of how the, the, the mark of the beast would work. Alright. And those that have faith, and that believe, and have the, the understanding, the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, imparted unto them, from you, Howard Bashim Shai, are going to understand what the mark of the beast is. It's that simple. Okay? But nonetheless, you know, this is this is real, man. This mark of the beast system. Alright, the mark of the beast itself is the RFID chip being inserted into you like that. Okay? But it's a whole system that they've been preparing for years now. Decades. Okay? They're getting, they've been getting everything in place. And making everything convenient, all right. Making all the system come together, all right. And now they got this thing called the Internet of Things. All right, it's gonna be tied in with the five G network, and the, you know, you got the the the, the Wi Fi everywhere. As long as you know wherever there's a plane or there there's Wi Fi, and pretty much everything is Wi Fi compatible now. All right, works with RFID technology, your phones, all these new devices. Okay, everything is. is is getting to the point where it's all going to be tied into this internet of things. All right. And that's for the purpose to set up the mark of the beast system. All right. And the actual mark, though, itself is going to be this implantable microchip. Okay. And so let's just read this uh, article, bring out some facts here. All right. The technology company Three Square Market made headlines last year for implanting microchips in the arms of nearly 100 employees. Enabling them to open doors, log onto their computers, and purchase snacks from company vending machines with a swipe of their arms. So see, look, it's, it's right there. It's telling you that you're going to be able to purchase, all right, among other things. You're going to be able to purchase with this market or, or with this uh, RFID chip, okay, this implantable microchip. All right, um, let's go to Revelation 13 and uh, just... Straight to 16. And he causeth all both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads. And where are most of these people getting these chips inserted? In their hands. Alright, because you read into Revelation 14, it doesn't specify which hand. Alright, well, Revelation 14, 9. And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast in his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, all right, so it doesn't specify which hand. So people that try to get stupid, wait, you can't get around that. All right, the chips were initially little more than innovative no novelty, but now the Wisconsin firm, which designs software for vending machines, has a more ambitious plan, according to the chief executive, Todd Westby, during an appearance on CNBC. Westby said his company is working on a more sophisticated microchip that is powered by human body heat and includes GPS tracking capabilities and voice activation. So all that, oh, it's it's got to be near frequency communication, or it's got to be close to the to the device, the reader, or it has to be act. It has to be turned on by the actual RFID reader. If not, it's just dormant. That's a bunch of bullshit. All right, because right here they just said that it's going to be. Uh, powered by the heat, the the heat or the BTUs of the human body, okay, the human body heat, and it's going to be GPS capable. Okay, so 
And like I said earlier, the Internet of Things, everything has RFID technology on it. Every every device now has RFID uh, readers on it. All right. Your phone is an RFID reader itself. It sends and receives RFID signals or NFC. OK, which is near frequency communication. All right. But what with this 5G network and the Internet of Things coming or already here, really? OK, that signal is getting farther and farther you know the capabilities of it. So all that is, is all the, the all the, the scoffing and the naysaying is going out the window. Microchips with GPS tracking may strike some as the first step toward handing our uh, autonomy over to Skynet like government overlords. All right, just the Skynet is referring to the, the movie Terminator. All right, Skynet was the computer system or whatever that took over the world, started sending the Terminators back in the time. All right. And what happened in the Terminator movies? Them nuclear missiles came, man. <laughs> so th there's a reason they keep referring to Skynet, you know, when referring to the, R the RFID chip. Because according to Revelation 14, if you take that chip, let's see what's going to happen. This Revelation 14 and 10. The same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels, in the presence of the Lamb. So you're going to be tormented with fire and brimstone via those nuclear missiles, all right, ICBMs, intercontinent, intercontinental ballistic missiles, all right? We're talking about nuclear destruction, thermonuclear warfare, okay? Let's read on. It says, and three square market officials admit that the chips will offer a convenient way to track people. See, so really what would this whole chip system is about it's making you chattel onto the elites all right just like they chip animals all right their cattle cows and whatnot that's what they want to do with uh people they're going to make it seem convenient oh it's going to have all your information such blah 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 but it all ultimately is for you know easier tracking of of the slaves okay of the chattel it's gonna right Especially those suffering from Alzheimer's and dementia. Patrick McMullen, president of Three Square Market and chip technology business, Three Square Chip, told CNBC, the goal is a worthy cause. It's not only GPS. It's not only voice activation. It's working on monitoring your vital signs, McMullen said. And there are different medical institutions that obviously want that. It's going to tell my doctor's office I have an issue he had. See, so they're trying to just make it convenient, all right, and comforting so that people are willingly accept it because it's so it's so uh, convenient for them, making their life easier. Because you already know, especially here in America, people want everything handed to them on a silver platter, okay? Everything needs to be convenient and quick. That's why they have drive throughs okay, in uh, TV dinners. They got microwaves. Everything has to be instant gratification. If not, then they, they don't want to deal with it. Okay. Proponents of medical microchips point out that the device could contain someone's entire medical history. Okay, so see, they're going on. They're hitting on the medical benefits of it. Okay, which really there is the, the benefit of it is going to be destruction. You're going to die. Okay, but uh, let me jump down a little bit. Okay, see here. It's these microchips right here. Microchips aren't exactly new. They have been used to tag pets and livestock and track delivery. So that's what the elites look at you as livestock. You're, you're, you're nothing more than, than, than a, a commodity. Or not commodity, but you're nothing more than a, 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 a slave to them. Okay. Biohex, a Swedish company, has implanted its microchips to several thousand customers, allowing them to ride trans without using tickets and turn. Lights in their apartment. Oh, okay, so you know, see, they just just keep showing and hitting on the the simplicity of it and um, the convenience of it. But uh, let me just hit this last point here. It says Noel Chelsea, forty nine, associate professor of sociology, 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 sociology at the University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, told USA Today that microchip humans are in availability, in a in a in inevitability. 
to Lakia, but not for several decades. Well, she's in for a rude awakening because people are going to start getting microchip any any day now, okay, by the masses, and they're going to be deceived through the through through the lies of this devil Esau Edom, which is the so-called white man. They're going to be deceived to take it, all right, because it's going to be it's going to be pushed out as convenient, and then now with this uh this caravan of immigrants, okay, they're coming up here and then they're gonna, you know, something's gonna happen. They're going to say, oh, we can track terrorists because we just read that as GPS capabilities. OK, so it's it, it's it's coming, man. Like, it's not going to be a decade. It's going to be in a matter of months, Lord's will. So she's this Noel Chelsea's in for a rude awakening. Let's read on. Though. It says some experts believe it will take that long for the stigma associated with the practice to wear off. OK, well, it's not going to take that long because when the next major terrorist attack happens, which is soon, that's why they're doing all these false flags because it's leading up to that. OK, it, it, these are like the preliminaries. All right. When you go to a, a fight night or a boxing match, OK, let's say Mayweather versus Manny Pacquiao. Right. Well, you're going to have a couple of fights before the main event. And that's what all these false flags and, and these in and and this bullshit on TV is all about. It's leading up to the main event. And here goes to say, it will happen to everybody, Chesley told the paper, but not this year and not in 2018. Maybe not my generation, but certainly that of my kids. What is going to happen in your generation, bitch? So, you know, hey, it's, it's, it's undeniable at this point. And it's coming to pass before your very eyes, whether you believe it or not. You don't believe it, you're going to get chipped and you're going to get put to death. Simple as that. Mawath Ball, Shalom, Maki, on Stay Strong.